stick around to see how we made this little racing car with working wheels in about 10 minutes on a lazy Sunday afternoon. You don't want to miss this. Stay tuned. What a wonderful Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It is me, Cheryl, the activity author, and I am here for another easy quick craft, okay? All right, so go ahead and grab some markers, a paper towel roll, go ahead and paint it too. I already painted mine in advance. The little tops off the little squeezies, you're gonna need four of those. And you're gonna need a hot glue, some scissors, and you're also going to need some construction paper, pipe cleaners, and don't worry guys, everything is listed below. So if you forget, check down there. Some googly eyes. And uh, first we're gonna go ahead and start by cutting out the top of our car. So if your kids wanna put like, you know, a little action figure or a little, um, you know, G.I. Joe. Do kids still play with those? I don't know. But if they wanna put it in the car, they can do that. So go ahead and cut you out a little oval so that they can sit in it. it. But one more thing, guys. Is it me or does this remind you of the Jamaican bobsled team from uh, <laughs> Cool Runnings? I know y'all watch that movie, but yeah, I'm thinking about them the whole time. Jamaica got that bobsled team. All right, let me stop. Go ahead, guys. Watch the, watch the craft. <laughs> Now the next thing you want to do is poke four holes in the side of the car. Uh, you don't have to make it too big, honestly, because the pipe cleaner is going to go straight through it. Now also, if you don't have a pipe cleaner, guys, did y'all know y'all can use like a straw for this? I think a straw might actually work better because it'll give better stability for the wheels to turn. So I was just too lazy to go downstairs and get a straw. But if y'all have a straw, I would use a straw instead. But hey, a pipe cleaner works just fine, as you can see. So what you guys are seeing is me inserting the pipe cleaner and I'm just cutting off the excess. You just want to make sure guys, as you do this, you give enough, I guess, slack, I can say slack for the wheels to um, be hot glued and still turn around if that makes sense. So make sure you don't cut your pipe cleaner too short or it's probably not going to work as good for you. You want your pipe cleaner to actually go through the entire top of the little squeezy, you know, little circle top that we're going to use for the wheels. You want the pipe cleaner to actually touch the back of that so it can have more, uh, I guess you can say stability, <laughs> leverage, whatever the word is, um, so that the wheels can turn basically. Last final touch, you know, every race car needs a number and my daughter chose the number one. So that's what we gonna name our car, number one, cause we the best in my DJ Khaled voice. But uh, there you go, craft is done. 10 minutes, one and done. <laughs> you guys are gonna love this. You can make as many as you want, different colors. And do y'all realize that this is a good way to teach kids about upcycling? Yes, upcycling. When you take trash and things you don't use anymore and use it toward an art project. Because we're actually using a toilet paper roll that used to have toilet paper. And we had the squeezy tops, which used to be for the squeezies. So that's upcycling. All right, guys. So now I know y'all love this video. So before y'all click off, make sure y'all make sure y'all hit that like button all right and then scroll to that subscribe button hit that and click that notification bell and make sure you hit all so you know every time that i post okay and make sure you guys check out all of my many awesome videos on this channel i have too many arts and crafts and activities for kids that you guys don't want to miss so make sure you check my other videos out and i will see you guys tomorrow for another craft bye